Assalamu alaikum hi friends how are you this time we'll be working on making new type of a cluster idea and this will how we will cover the base of uh, our class for that we will just make a loop just follow the pattern for making the magic circle we will enter our hook and pick the thread from the second round that's how we will make a slip knot uh, sorry a magic round and then we will make a single crochet pattern for 10 times you know how to make single crochet pattern that's how we will make single crochet pattern pick the thread and pass it from the magic circle and then again pick the thread pass it from the two of the loops this was a single crochet pattern we will make total of 10 single crochet and one thing should be noted that I am uh, hiding the end of uh, the thread in this single crochet pattern so you must use the two of the thread while making your pattern during the magic circle like uh, you can see because that's a very important step of uh, our magic circle that's why I will show you at the end like you can see that's how now we will just pick this end and when we stretch it our circle will just be very small of our size of interest and then we will make a slip knot into the very first chain and our first circle is now ready and then we will make a chain and follow the same pattern like a single crochet pattern but in each chain we will make two single crochet okay like you can see in one chain i have entered the hook and make a single crochet and again in the same chain i will make a single crochet just see i am again making the single crochet in the same chain so for that in the first circle or the in the base circle i have made total of 10 double crochet uh, sorry single crochet pattern so when we move toward the second round there should be 20 uh, single crochet pattern so in the next there should be 30 40 50 and count uh, in each round that if there is not 20 or if there is not 30 in the third row or in the uh, fourth row if it's not 40 uh, if it's more than 40 or if it's for example in the fourth row if it's uh, less than 40 uh, that's a uh, mean you have done a mistake uh, in the circle so you must count in each round that uh, there is a even number like uh, 10 first 10 then 20 then 30 then 40 okay our first circle is uh, almost at the end uh, crochet coaster ideas uh, you can uh, find on my channel as well well uh, those are for uh, decor coaster but uh, this one is uh, for as a glass mat and now at the end of the circle we will again make a slip knot at the end of uh, this circle like uh, you can see that's how our second round looks like from both sides and then again now we will make two chains because in the third row we will follow triple crochet uh, sorry uh, double crochet pattern okay now i have made total of two chains and then we will follow the double crochet pattern and for that i will enter the the hook in the first chain and will make a, a double crochet pattern in the first chain okay for one time but in the second chain we will make two double crochet pattern okay this was the first and now in the same chain i will make the second double crochet pattern okay in one chain we will make one double crochet pattern and in the second chain we will make two double crochet pattern like you can see now in the third chain we will make one double crochet pattern like you can see and now in the fourth chain i will make uh, 
double crochet pattern for two times okay again I will make one more double crochet pattern okay like you can see so we will follow now this pattern until the end of it, this row I hope you got my point so in this round we will follow the same pattern if you don't know how to make single crochet or the double crochet or how to make triple crochet or how to make the cross stitch pattern you can just visit on my channel that there is a lot more detail to video on these patterns uh, actually these are the basic patterns so uh, as a beginner you must know these few patterns then crocheting become very easy for you so I think it's a stress uh, releasing work so I really love crochet how do you see that how the crochet work is please comment below in the comment section and if you like my video please like subscribe and share now you see I without skipping the video I am making the next row like the third row and now at the end let's meet it again I will catch you later and we will follow the same strap until this chain okay now you can see at the end this is now let's count yes now total of 28 chains these are and now we will count two more because this is our second chain and where we should make two of the double crochet pattern so for that now we will make the 30th one and in the third row we have made total of 30 um, double crochet or pattern okay now we will make a slip knot in the second chain of first pattern okay that's how like you can see if we check we still need one or two chains more we have to increase one or two chain one or two rows and then I think this will best fit in our glass as a coaster and now we will again follow the same pattern but in the fourth row we will make in two chains we will make single double crochet but in the third chain now we will make double crochet pattern for two times in the first two row please remember in the first two chains I have follow one time the double crochet pattern but in the third chain I will make two times the double crochet pattern just see again in the first chain again I have make one double crochet and in the second again one double crochet and in the third chain we will follow the double crochet pattern twice okay same like this if you want to increase the length of a coaster and you are in fifth row then you will uh, make the double crochet pattern in three times for one in three chains for one time and in the four chain you will increase like in the four chain you will make double crochet pattern for two times same like this we will increase the length of a double crochet pattern if you want to increase six seven eight or more okay and now we will follow the same step until the end of this row if you find any query regarding the video or regarding these steps please feel free to ask in the comment section i will surely reply
there is another hint to check whether the number of pattern uh, you are making in the row is equal to the row number for example if it's the third row and uh, the pattern is even number like 30 um, according to the row then the hint is that if the very last chain of that row you will make the, that specific pattern which you are following in the row uh, for two times for example if it's the third row in the second last chain you will make that specific pattern for one time and in the very last chain you will make that specific pattern for two times that's how you can count that your uh, row is perfect and and at the end of the row you all you need to make the single uh, sorry the slip stitch and now i am checking whether the size is correct or not and i think if i increase one more chain this will give a clumsy look to our coaster and and this will not best fit for our this class so for that i think i should not increase uh, more row and now i will follow our unique pattern like uh, i will make now total of 13 to 14 chains okay uh, exactly I have made 14 chains and you can increase or decrease the length uh, it's uh, up to your class size and now I will stitch it here and now uh, I will uh, make a single crochet pattern here like uh, you can see I have uh, made a single crochet pattern and again now we will make uh, 11 chains okay because the length will be a bit decreased so for that and now I will make total of 11 chains and I will fix this end as well by making a slip knot because at that end if we make a single crochet pattern then that will give a clumsy look so for that now at this point we will make a slip knot okay now here we will make a slip knot just check uh, which chain best fits your pattern now I will make a slip knot and then now I will just cut the end of it this thread and like you can see this is our unique style of a crochet coaster or the glass mat and now I will just cut the end and now I will use a needlework to hide the end of this now working thread and now like here you can see I will hide this end you, know, you don't need to hide the whole of a uh, thread uh, like you can see the length is too long so for that I will just hide it a bit because uh, we basically hide the end uh, because we want to uh, fix that end for example if we don't hide the end of a thread then it might be possible that our coaster or our pattern will open up very soon so for that we just fix the end and now we will just fix the second end where we just started our crochet pattern and now you can see our glass mat is ready let's check it how it looks in your glass and now you can see it's look very fine and very unique and if you like my pattern please thumb up until next video stay connected i love this.